Hey Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. All right, so this is going to be your morning message here, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Saturday to each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking us out. My name is Tasha, and I represent Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. This is a channel for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign in your birth chart, okay? If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please let me know by checking out the description box of the video. You will see the link to my Scorpio, Scorpio merch store where I do sell Scorpio items, my candle shop link, as well as my tarot reading website where you can book a reading with me one-on-one. -on -one. Keep in mind, guys, I still have the special that is available until Sunday for three questions for $33.33. So I did check up on Cash Up and Cash Up is actually working again. So if you guys prefer to send the Cash App, you can. Or you can go through my website. I have it updated on my website as well, okay? All right, so let's get into this message. Spirit, angels, and guides, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please return any negative energies, anyone sending any evil eye, witchcraft, anything that's not of my highest good, back to its rightful owner, so mo it be, 10,000 fold, amen and amen. Oh, what's the energy for Scorpio? So I'm using my Kipper deck on this reading, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So we got the number 37, which is poverty here. Oh, okay. So someone is going through, this is like the five of, <clears throat> the five of pentacles energy where someone is in like a lack mindset, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, poverty not only talks about finances, this can be your mind state, you know, negative thoughts. Someone here can be 37 years old or possibly born on the 10th. Someone is going through some rough times right now, struggling. This is some type of journey that I feel like someone needed to go on to possibly learn some lessons. But let's see what this is about. Why is um, why is poverty here, spirit, angels, and gods? Tell me about poverty. Why is that here? So yeah, this is the Five of Pentacles energy where this can be a financial setback. Um, someone could be going through bad health. Things are not looking good in their finances. Someone could be out of a job, homeless, just trying to make ends meet. Maybe living paycheck to paycheck. Who knows? Tell me about Parvey. Thank you. All right, so we have enjoyment, happiness, contentment, excitement, and we have challenge in the reverse. Hmm, and that talks about determination, unpredictability, enjoyment. Hmm. We have change, affection, honesty, truth. Hmm. It seems as though, I hate to say this, but it sounds like someone went from sugar to shit really quick. I don't know if this is your energy or someone here. But it's almost like with the challenge here, someone is really not determined to get into a happy mood or, hmm. This, this is more like someone is in a poverty mindset. Because someone seems like they're trying to be happy, but deep down inside, they're hurting. They're not determined to be happy or something like that. But this is a change that needed to happen. But let's see, guys. Let's, let's break this down. It's some type of journey that someone went on. This could have been traveling. Or this is a journey of poverty that maybe needs to teach someone a lesson. But let's see. What is this enjoyment? Because this is like the Nine of Cups energy. Happiness, fulfillment, which is coming true. Hmm. This can also be someone is trying to enjoy themselves, even though deep down inside they're having like this dark energy. Trying to make ends meet. But let's see, what is enjoyment? Why is enjoyment here when it comes to poverty? 
tell us about enjoyment when it comes to property. Why is that here spirit for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see. Why is enjoyment here? Wow, yeah, like I said, I felt like someone deep down inside, they're hurting. Three of Swords. Someone here is going through some losses, betrayal. Someone has been, someone is going through like a heartbreak here. Hmm. Tell me more. What is enjoyment when it comes to poverty? Okay. All right. So this is your energy here, Scorpio, the death card. Okay. So it seems like someone had appeared in their life where they were content with their life. They felt free. Life was exciting. They enjoyed the happiness and fruitful of their labor and just, you know, enjoying life, period. But somehow something changed where someone lost that happiness and now someone is sad, grieving. Something has ended here. Something has ended. Happiness, someone's happiness has ended. They're now heartbroken. Hmm. What is challenge in the reverse when it comes to poverty? Yeah, this happy energy has ended in some way, shape, or form. Someone went through a heartbreak, some type of loss or pain here. Hmm. What is challenge in the reverse when it comes to poverty? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, just like I saw in the back of this deck here. Change. Some type of cycle. Something is changing here. Something was meant to happen or fated to happen a certain way. But the wheel is turning in someone's favor. Why challenge here in the reverse when it comes to poverty? Oh no, there's too many spirit. Too many. <clears throat> Tell me about challenge when it challenge in reverse when it comes to poverty. What is this spirit? This may have been an un unexpected change in someone's life is what I'm getting. Hmm. Challenge in the reverse. Oh, thank you. Wow, page of cups here. Some type of communication. This may be an apology. Hmm. We have the eight of cups, the hermit, seven of wands. Yeah, someone broke your heart. Someone could have walked away from you and they're wanting to apologize for doing so. But now you're very guarded. You're kind of isolating yourself, holding back from having a new beginning in love with someone from your past. Yeah, you cut someone off, Queen of Swords. You let them go. Hmm. Something could have ended with another water sign. This person possibly wasn't up for the challenge in a situation and they avoided doing the work. They wasn't determined or they didn't give you that energy that they were determined enough to make these changes. But I see like someone here wants to change something and apologize. Huh. All right, so tell me about poverty. Tell me about poverty. What is this spirit? Wow, I heard scared just now. Nine of Wands. It's like you're afraid. You're very guarded. Yeah, someone here can be homeless or something like that. As you see this guy on this photo, his clothes is kind of ripped up. Someone is guarding themselves, being very protective. It's like I went through, it's like someone here. They've been through the ringer. Or oh, they're going through the ringer. Yeah, the Spirit said that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Someone is going through it right now. Hard time, struggle, lack mindset. Guarding themselves. Kind of like on the defense to everyone. Because of this heartbreak here. That's why I've heard. That's why I felt like someone went from sugar to shit real quick. Like there was joy. There was happiness. There was peace. But then someone turned around and broke your heart things ended abruptly 
this was a major change in your life and now someone wants to give you some type of apology communicate with you but you may be guarding yourself because of the position that you're in all right tell me about poverty thank you page of wands in reverse yeah you don't want to talk you're done you don't want to talk you don't want to communicate with no one you may have blocked out this person not talking to anybody really tell me more poverty wow justice here someone here is getting karma someone here may be feeling like that's their karma hmm Something to do with a marriage, a family, relationship here where things got very toxic. Someone is being haunted by what they have done here with the Nine of Swords, anxiety, guilt. And this could be your energy where you could be in the energy of you can't really sleep. A lot of things are on your mind, having depression. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me more about poverty. So someone here can have a Libra in their chart, Sagittarius. Of course, Scorpio is here. Tell me more about poverty. Judgment here. So wow, we have judgment and justice here. So yes, yeah, someone is definitely going through some type of karma, spiritual warfare. Wow. I feel like if this is your energy, Scorpio, where you may be going through a rough time right now where someone could have left you out in the cold, I feel like the universe is working it out in your favor. Keep in mind your spirit team is here, the spiritual realm, the universe, archangels, your ancestors here. I feel like they're protecting you. Your angels and guys are protecting you while you go through this rough time here. Yeah, as you close out the cycle here. Yeah, just as it seems like it's going to be served for you. Tell me more about poverty. If someone abandoned you, left you out in the cold to struggle, you're being protected. Yeah. Tell me more about poverty. And of course, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Eight of Wands. So yeah, see, someone wants to talk to you about maybe having a second chance or working something out, but you you don't want to hear that right now. You don't want to talk. Even though they're wanting to communicate with you, you're like, I don't, I've been through enough shit. I don't, I don't need your conversations. Yeah, someone want forgiveness. They want to come back around, talk to you, apologize to you, express some type of love. Yep, someone from your past. This could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a Taurus here. Yep, you, again, you got your guards up when it comes to putting in work or working things out with this person who possibly you felt like was your best friend, your soulmate here. Someone is really trying to figure out how can I get through the Scorpio because this shit is weighing heavy on my shoulders. They have me blocked. They are my in all be all, but I feel like if I come to them or call them or reach out to them, they're going to reject me, but I'm still in love with them. Yeah. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. What's the final card here? Spirit, angels, and guides for poverty. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to talk to you. You left me out in the cold. You abandoned me. The hell I got to talk to you about, you know? You broke my heart. This shit, this shit ended. You gave me happiness, joy, fulfillment. And you just snatched that shit away. You know? Poverty. What's the last part here for poverty? Thank you. Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's nights that you woke up crying, upset. But honestly, I feel like this bottom row, the Judgment, Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Swords, this may be the person who broke your heart. This is the one who wants to talk to you. They can't stop thinking about you. This person may be getting karma for how they did you, and now they're being haunted by their memories. Sleepless nights, not able to rest. They're in their head, wanting to talk to you wanted a second chance but again you're guarded for the way they treated you you don't want to talk you allow your spiritual realm you put your hands up saying hey universe spirit team i'm gonna let you handle this 
someone here did not want to face the challenges in this relationship. So they caused this heartbreak. And now that caused a, a dynamical change in the relationship. Now they want to apologize. Now they want to communicate with you after things have ended. Yep, this could have been someone you had a marriage with, a family. And this can even be your own friends or family. Someone here was very toxic. There was a dark attachment between you and this person. The Fool and the Knight of Pentacles and the Lover, Gemini Energy and Aries. It seems like this Knight of Pentacles intentionally took a leap of faith into another direction. This person could have chosen another lover over you. Yeah, Queen of, Queen of Cups and the Empress, yeah. It's like this man could have chose another lover over you and walked away with the Eight of Cups. They chose between two divine feminists or divine masculine energies. Both people that are healing, nurturers, intuitive. Chosen one energy. You know? Yeah. Like I said, yeah. Someone here cheated. They chose someone else over you. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. They walked away from you to go to someone else. When the whole time you were the blessing. Ace of Pentacles. Mm -mm. This masculine is trying to strategize away how to come towards you because they're still holding on to you. But see, this person played too many games. They manipulated you and possibly another divine feminine. Now they want to take action to come towards you, show you that they still want you, that they still want this love. They have a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret here. Five of Cups, Ace of Cups. Mm. They're following their intuition to have this new beginning with you after a very, very painful ending for being selfish. Yeah. Now they're trying to figure out how can they get you to give back to them again. How can they fight for this? They want to come in and talk. They're missing you. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But someone here was a Jezebel. They were a whore. Wanted to be for the streets. They started dealing with third parties. Yeah. When the whole time you were the chosen one, you were the star seed here. King of Cups. This is you, Scorpio. You had a light that was different. Yeah. They're in their head about coming towards you because you were the in all be all. But they feel as though you're going to reject them because of how and what they did. Yep. Spirit said that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Now they have clarity that you are their soulmate here. But now... Maybe a little too late. You've already cut them off. You're focusing your energy elsewhere with the Eight of Pentacles. They want to work this out. But see, you got your back turned towards working things out in this reconciliation. You feel like I'm better off by myself. Yeah. You got too many secrets going on, sir, ma'am. I'm going to need the truth and clarity. Yeah. Yep. Some people don't know what they have until it's gone, child. That's how it be. Yeah. It's almost like you were a challenge and someone didn't want to deal with the new the energy that you brought to the table. It was different. You changed. It's like they ran into you and you were the change that they needed. You know? But they was used to something else, you know? All right, Scorpios. This is what I have for you for your morning message. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, comment down below if this resonates with your energy, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.